this repertoire, the presence of a keyboard remains vital in, in conjuring this, I think, slightly more spontaneous, continuo-led approach that's not about directing from the top down, it's kind of enlivening from the bottom up. We know that Mozart gave these subscription concerts in Vienna in the 1780s. We know that he played a piano concerto in probably all of them. He played some kind of variation piece or fantasy, some kind of purely improvised piece. There was always a concert aria or some piece for vocalists and orchestra in those programs. And there was always a symphony. Mozart writes to his father around the premiere of in Furong in 1782, and he complains that the orchestra is lacking verve and the tempo are all wrong, and he says, I have to get back in the pit and play with them. Now, bear in mind that something like in Furong doesn't have any role for a forte piano continuo. There's no recitative, there's no music that the piano has to play. Mozart was literally playing with the orchestra in the music of the orchestra on his own keyboard in order to re-infuse and re-energize the music making. This is a very different idea of what it means to sort of direct or kind of conjure up the music of a symphony. It's a, it's a very different experience. He probably wasn't conducting in the modern sense of the word, but he was part of the organism and part of the team of the orchestra. And I think that speaks very much to the 18th century conception of the orchestra led from the keyboard, the continuo, and the work of the concertmaster. Thank you.